staying in for like good like two, three weeks and stuff, and everything seemed kind of cool. Like you know, we we got along and stuff. I remember one time I was meant to be going out to a party, but then we got into an argument. So basically, I didn't want to see it. A trail. On my travels, I bumped into a very handsome young man. He told me that he was 32 years of age and I was 47. And I thought, well, OK, that's not too bad. I went to the party with my friends and we was all there, everyone was dancing, having fun. And I see her in a corner with her friend and we got into a little argument again at the party, so then I decided to leave. Everything was going great and then he asked me to get married and I said yes. Next day, I thought to myself, you know what, like, let me just call her, you know, I'm being a bit immature and see where she is. Someone was like, oh, um, didn't you know? And I was like, um, she, she left with your brother and his friend. So obviously, I just fucking, my brother probably took her home. And it wasn't until we actually got married that I found out that he was, in fact, only 20 years old when I met him. I spoke to her and she just acted like normal, like, yeah, I miss you. I got dropped home and this said never, but I knew something was up. He phoned me from work, oh, I'm going to be late. He never phoned me from work. This was so, it kind of got my suspicions up. So when he came home, he, was, he had a lovely big card saying he loved me. And I kept thinking, no, there's something wrong here. Two days later, her friend basically just told me, he's like, oh, um, she stayed over at your brother's place with his friend. And then the friend told me, yeah, like, they slept together. So I checked the back of his phone, and there was another SIM card. I put it into my phone, and it said, lovely person. Obviously, we spoke about it. She told me, she goes, yeah, I had sex with your brother, which hurt me. But then, obviously, I, there was nothing that I could do to react to any sort of way. So we ended up having a big, big argument, and that kind of ended the relationship. We went back to Egypt, and we got a divorce in December last year. What kind of hurt the most was, like, Two weeks after that happened, they started dating. And then she actually ended up cheating on him with someone that he knew. So I guess karma sort of like got him back, which was, I was quite pleased about, actually.